My name is Callista Davis, and what I'm about to share with you changed everything I thought I knew about life, death, and the divine creation of souls. Before my experience, I was just a normal 34-year-old elementary school teacher in Vermont, living what I thought was an ordinary life. But on December 12, 2023, during what should have been a routine surgery, I died for 7 minutes and 23 seconds. What I witnessed during those precious minutes has haunted me with its beauty ever since. I need you to understand something before I continue. I've always been a practical person. I taught science to fifth graders, dealt in facts and evidence, and while I attended church regularly, I wouldn't say I was particularly spiritual. What I experienced wasn't a dream or hallucination. It was more real than anything I've ever known in this physical world. It started with what was supposed to be a straightforward appendectomy. I remember lying on the operating table as the anesthesiologist counted down from 10. I made it to seven before everything went dark. That's when things should have stayed black, but they didn't. The first thing I noticed was the absence of pain. Just moments before, my abdomen had been on fire with appendicitis, but now there was nothing but a profound sense of peace. I felt myself floating upward, and as I did, I could see my body below me on the operating table. The surgical team was working frantically. Something had gone wrong. I could hear the sharp beeping of machines and see the concerned looks on their faces through their surgical masks. But I wasn't afraid. Instead, I felt an overwhelming sense of calm and detachment, as if I was watching a movie about someone else. That's when I noticed the light. It wasn't just any light. It was alive, conscious, and filled with more love than I could comprehend. It started as a pinpoint in the distance, but grew larger as I was drawn toward it. As I moved through what seemed like a tunnel of swirling, iridescent colors, I began to notice other presences around me. They weren't exactly people, but rather beings of light who communicated with me telepathically. Among them, I recognized my grandmother Sarah, who had passed away when I was 12, and my childhood best friend Emma, who had died in a car accident during our college years. They appeared as their younger selves, but were also somehow ageless, radiating pure joy and love. We've been waiting for you, Callista. Emma's voice resonated in my consciousness. There's something special you need to see. The tunnel opened into what I can only describe as the threshold of heaven, but it wasn't like any artistic depiction I'd ever seen. It was a vast expanse of living light, with colors that don't exist on Earth, and geometric patterns that seemed to contain all the knowledge of the universe within their intricate designs. That's when I saw him, not as the bearded figure we often imagine, but as pure, infinite consciousness and love. God's presence was overwhelming, yet completely welcoming. I understood in that moment that he was both father and mother, both personal and universal, both one and many. What happened next is what compels me to share this story, even though I know some will doubt it. God showed me the process of soul creation, and it was nothing like what any of us could have imagined. I watched as God's consciousness expanded into what looked like a cosmic workshop of sorts. Imagine the most advanced laboratory combined with the most beautiful artist studio, but made entirely of living light and energy. Within this space, I witnessed the birth of souls. Each soul began as a spark of divine light, but the process was far more complex than a simple division or creation. God showed me how he weaves together different aspects of his own nature. Love, wisdom, creativity, joy, and countless other qualities in unique combinations to form each individual soul. It's similar to how a master composer might weave together different musical notes and harmonies to create a completely original symphony. But here's what really amazed me. Each soul is created with a specific purpose, a divine blueprint that contains all the potential experiences and growth that soul might encounter throughout multiple lifetimes. I saw how God infuses each soul with both strengths and challenges, 
all carefully calibrated to help that soul learn and grow in exactly the ways it needs to. The process wasn't just mechanical or procedural, it was deeply personal. For each soul, God poured in what I can only describe as divine DNA, unique combinations of spiritual gifts, personality traits, and potential paths. I watched as he crafted souls with incredible care and attention to detail, each one precious and unique. What struck me most was how collaborative the process was. Other beings, angels, if you will, though that word doesn't quite capture their nature, assisted in this grand creation. The beings explained that in the spiritual realm, time as we know it doesn't exist. Everything happens in an eternal now moment that somehow contains all possibilities and outcomes. I was shown how God's love for each soul is absolutely unconditional and eternal. This wasn't just a concept, I experienced it directly. It was like being immersed in an ocean of pure love that knew everything about me, including my mistakes and regrets, and loved me completely anyway. This love wasn't just passive acceptance, it was an active, creative force that continuously supports and nurtures each soul's growth and development. The beings explained that every soul, no matter how far it might seem to stray from its divine purpose, carries within it this original divine love and the potential to reconnect with it. I saw how even the most troubled souls are never truly lost. They are just in a temporary state of disconnection from their divine nature, like a radio that's temporarily out of tune with its station. As my experience drew to a close, I was shown one final truth that left me in awe. The ultimate purpose of soul creation is the expansion of love and consciousness in the universe. Each soul is a unique expression of divine love, created to experience, learn, grow, and ultimately contribute to the ever-expanding expression of God's love in all creation. I felt myself being drawn back to my body, but before I returned, my grandmother and Emma gave me a message. Remember, Callista, what you've seen is just a glimpse of the infinite love and wisdom that creates and sustains all souls. Share your story with those who are ready to hear it. Let them know that they are infinitely loved and purposefully created. The return to my body was jarring. I gasped awake on the operating table, much to the surprise and relief of the medical team. They later told me that they had lost me for 7 minutes and 23 seconds due to an unexpected reaction to the anesthesia. They had been fighting to bring me back, and by all medical understanding, I should have suffered brain damage from the lack of oxygen. Instead, I was completely fine. More than fine, actually. I was transformed. In the months since my experience, I've struggled to put everything I saw and learned into words. Human language feels inadequate to describe the majesty and complexity of what I witnessed. But I know I have to try. Every time I share this story, I remember more details, and I see how it touches people in profound ways. I continue teaching fifth grade, but now I see each of my students differently. I look at them and can sense the divine spark within them, the careful crafting that went into creating each of their souls. I see their challenges and struggles as part of their soul's journey toward growth and understanding. My experience hasn't made me reject science or rational thinking. Quite the opposite. It's shown me that what we call science is just our limited understanding of God's infinite creative processes. The complexity and precision I witnessed in the creation of souls far exceeds anything we've discovered through scientific investigation. Some people ask me if I'm afraid of death now, having experienced it. The truth is, I'm not afraid at all. What I fear is not fully living the life I've been given, not fulfilling the purpose for which my soul was so lovingly created. I know now that death is not an end but a transition, a return to the source of all love and consciousness. I share this story not to convince anyone of anything, but because I was shown that sharing it is part of my soul's purpose. If it resonates with you, perhaps that's because your soul recognizes some truth in it. 
If it doesn't, that's okay too. Each soul has its own path to understanding and its own timing for receiving different truths. What I want everyone to know is this. You are not an accident. Your soul was created with incredible love and purpose by a divine intelligence that knows you completely and loves you unconditionally. Every challenge you face, every joy you experience, Every relationship you form is part of your soul's journey toward understanding and expressing more of its divine nature. The process of soul creation I witnessed continues even now. Every new life that comes into this world carries within it a unique spark of divine love and purpose. We are all part of this grand, ongoing creation, learning, growing, and gradually awakening to the incredible truth of who we really are. As I conclude this account of my experience, I'm filled with gratitude, not just for the incredible gift of being shown these divine mysteries, but for the opportunity to share them with others. I know that some will dismiss my story as a hallucination or the product of an oxygen-deprived brain. That's okay. I know what I experienced was real, more real than anything in this physical world. I continue to process and understand more aspects of what I was shown during those 7 minutes and 23 seconds. Sometimes, in quiet moments, I can still feel echoes of that divine love that permeates all creation. It reminds me that we are all connected, all part of something far greater than we can imagine, and all created with purpose and infinite love. If you take anything from my story, let it be this. You are a masterpiece of divine creation, uniquely crafted with purpose and love. Your life has meaning, your struggles have purpose, and your journey is part of a greater plan that extends far beyond what we can see or understand in this physical realm. The truth about how God creates souls is far more beautiful and complex than any of us could have imagined. And while I know my words can only capture a fraction of what I witnessed, I hope they help you understand just how precious and purposeful your existence truly is.